Cypher Sounds and Rosenberg on Hot yeah. 97. Jazz is Hot 97. We're talking about this website called blackpeoplemeet.com. Rosenberg said it made him a little upset because he felt that... A little uncomfortable. I'm sorry, uncomfortable. Because you feel... I just feel that any website that says the first thing you should be looking for is race... I feel like that's prejudice. I feel like it's a little racist. Well, I actually have the spokesperson on the line right now. His name is Ron Worthy. Ron Worthy, how are you today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. Ron, are you related to James Worthy from the Lakers? <laughs> I wish I was. I wish I was, but I'm not. But you are black. I am black. Explain this website to us. People are looking for love, and um, black people meet is one of those places where people can find love. Blackpeoplemeet.com. Now, is it only for black people? Absolutely not. We have black people, Hispanic people, white people, um, anybody that's looking for love. I think the reality is that black people meet is for people who are primarily looking for other people who are looking for black people. It's that basic. Well, hold on. Primarily for people who are looking for people who are looking for black people. <laughs> but you're saying exactly. that the website does not discriminate against other races that want to meet black people as well. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We have people on, on the website that are looking for black people who are interested in black people, but also who may be looking for other races, but their preference is, is African American. Yeah, but on the commercial, you definitely don't get any sense that it's inviting to all kinds of people who just happen to be attracted to black people. It's, it definitely seems like it's like, hey, are you black? Do you want to meet someone who's black? That's really what my issue is with it is why yeah. why should the first thing people be look like, you know that they're looking for be color? I feel like that's ultimately going to lead it, to disappointment. You know, you know, it's actually not. I mean, I think the reality is that our research has shown that um, people are looking for a few different things and race. You know, is actually one of the top three things that people are looking for. What happened to I have a dream and all races could live together? It seems like we're going back to segregation with all these different sites talking about if you want to date only this race. Like, why do we can't? Why can't we have a site where it's everybody? Yeah, what like, about the mountaintop? Love all no, the no, no. <laughs> That's great. But the difference is that when you're on a site that's targeting African Americans, you know that that counterpart is actually looking for you as well. Mm -hmm. And so I think for a lot of people, when they're looking for uh, an option for starting a long-term relationship, if race is something that's really important to them, they want a place where they know they're going to be able to find someone that, that is compatible on that level. Regardless of race, I think Hey Fox would consider using your website as long as you had an anti-swagless guarantee. <laughs> Do you have that? Can you guarantee that she won't meet someone swagless on the website? You know, it is what it is, right? You have to be able to use the tools and use your own common sense to be able to identify the person that's right for you that you want to meet and just be saying. Cypher Sounds and Rosenberg on Hot 97. Yeah. yeah, now we were talking about this, um, this commercial that Rosenberg saw for a website called uh, Black People Meet. Com. Now, this commercial made you upset. I mean, not upset, but a little uncomfortable. Tell me why. It made me feel uncomfortable because it, it keeps going like, are you black? Do you want to meet other black people? And it just made me feel a little uncomfortable. Like, why? Would are you intimidated by the black love? <laughs> no. <laughs> I love black love, all love. But it just made me think, why would people want to go to a website sheerly to meet people off of race? Because if you think about it, and don't get me wrong, I totally recognize that the black experience is vastly different than the white experience but if you took that commercial and said are you white don't you want to meet other white people to me i would be like that sounds racist and crazy let me let me play a piece of the commercial meet exciting black people who want to meet other exciting black people kisa nathan at blackpeoplemeet.com the number one dating site for black singles visit today and search for free when i watched it i thought this makes me feel uncomfortable. It feels a little racist. When you hear it, when you blatantly hear someone saying, Straight are up. you black? Do you want to meet other black people? I was like, why would you want to meet? Why can't you just meet other people? It made me feel a little uncomfortable. Now, granted, I do understand that uh, there's an effort in this country to preserve the black family and being going through what uh, the black struggle has been in America. I understand it. But when I heard it, it made me feel uncomfortable. Now, it makes you feel uncomfortable because you feel that people shouldn't judge other people by skin color? That, that's my opinion. And if you reversed it and the commercial was, are you white? Do you want to meet other white people? 
That sounds nuts. That's only because of the history that we've been uh, faced with. But at the same time, I could definitely understand black uh, black people wanting to meet other black people. All right, let me take some calls. I got uh, Shy on line seven. Shy, what up? Yes, hello, how are you? We're good. How do you, what do you think about this uh, website? Do you think it's racist? To- no, I do not think that it's racist. I think that people have a right to choose who they want to date. And it doesn't matter if you're choosing a person because of their religion or, or their or their um, their um race. You, you're you choosing a soulmate because of the similarities that you share. I, well, I think it's crazy that you would say something that people share is a skin color. It's I true. mean, but you do. That's a similarity. You, you, maybe you, you may feel comfortable with that person because he is black or because he is white. Who? That's just your personal preference. I don't believe that's what this world is made up upon. I don't believe. Um, I don't personal miss, preferences. Miss, right. I don't, you have a right hold to, on, hold to on, have a personal preference. That is very true. But what Bo- Rosenberg is saying is that we shouldn't be judging people just off skin color. And we should all well, be coming first together. Of all, Rosenberg, have you ever been all black people? Got, um, black people. Because there's white people on there. And basically, people that's on that white fight is on that white fight because of a, you, a personal preference. Why are you they so angry? They might just want a black person. Why are you so huh? angry? <laughs> no, I'm just saying because I, don't, I can't even believe that he was saying... You can't even fight. believe but it? Not- all right, all right. This is getting a little out of control. Hold on a second. You hold on one second, miss. Let's t- go to the next call see what they say. This girl's white? I think so. Jane. Yo. Jane, that sounds white. Are you white? Poppy, I'm a sister. Come on now. Uh, I'm sorry, my producer said you were white. Just because <laughs> really? her name is Jane. Exactly. Listen, that's exactly my point. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna make a judgment based on my voice, and I understand that. That's mm. happened before, but that's exactly my point. That's why Rosenberg has a really good point. It's based in logic, but you know, our country wasn't founded on logic. It was founded on racism. Mm-hmm. Well, that's that's. I I agree with that statement. I just think commercials like this and sites like this, to me, just push that further. They don't do anything to make us progress. The fact is... Right. I understand. I I agree with that. But again, it's like, here we are in this day and age. This is what's really happening. People want to get together. And I think that you're really splitting hairs when you say that J-Date is different because... Yes, it's religion, but listen, as a sister who has had a thing for a very, very sly Jewish boy in the past, mm. and his family was like, ha, kick rocks, mm. that is what's real. Let me, let me ask you just a simple question, Jane. Let me ask, stop your clapping. Hey, Fox, what, I, what, can I agree <laughs> with my sister? No, Jane, she's, 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 making good point. she's making good points. And you know what, let me just say, and I wasn't mad. Cypher Sounds and Rosenberg on Hot 97. Yeah.